So then I'm going to talk about the five key things to do to stay focused. First key thing to do to stay focused, key to stay focused, to have very clear, defined goals. What does it mean to focus? The focus means that you set your gaze on something that is important. You set your gaze on something, something that's important. First key thing is to define what that thing is. Having a very, very clear goal, a direction, a purpose, something that needs to be done. Having it defined is important. First key guidance on how to stay focused is to have written goals. I want to encourage you to write down these goals. The discipline of writing down goals allows your heart and your mind and your eyes to have something to stay on. When your goals are written, it gives you something to focus on. Look at things to set your gaze and your heart on something, something that you need to accomplish. One important way to set to set your focus on goals is to have it written down. The discipline of writing gives you something to actually be focused on, something that you define as important. And back on chapter two, verse two says, and the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may learn with it. This verse talks about several key things. So you as a Christian, first, the Lord tells you to, to write it down, make it plain. See, when it's written, the it now is clear. The discipline of writing down those goals, writing down those goals, you're making it plain. You're making it very clear. You can see what is important. Then it tells you that when it's written and it's clear, it gives you something to pursue. It tells you, write down the vision, make it plain. It tells you not just to write it down, it says to make it plain, to make it actionable, to make it clear. Make it make clear as I'm writing down this goal, what needs to be done. It tells you as, it, as it's written and as it's clear, it gives you something to focus on, it gives you something to pursue after. First key guys on how to stay focused have clear, written, defined goals. The discipline of writing down goals it gives your mind, your heart, something to stay anchored on. It also gives you something to pursue. You will pursue something that you define as important. And writing down the goals, it defines what is important. Writing down goals define what needs to be accomplished. And not just writing down anything haphazardly. Writing it down in such a way that it's actionable. Writing it down in such, such a way that it's clear. Writing it down in such a way that it is clear what needs to be done. The key principles that I think are important in making sure that those goals are clear. Make sure that those goals are measurable. Right? What, what quantifies exactly what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to lose weight. Right now, I want to lose 30 pounds. Also, make, make sure that you are making those goals time-bound. Put together a defined time frame. You can have a target. Maybe you want to lose 30 pounds in one month, 30 pounds in two months. Now also ensure that your goal, are, your goal is specific. Be very, very clear. Don't be vague about those goals. Ensure that, that, that your goals are, are specific. Ensure that like, your goals are measurable. Ensure that your goals are actionable. You, you actually have written down the goal in such a way that you can take action on those goals. And make sure that your goals are time bound. Like I said, if it's a lose weight, you can say, I want to lose 30 pounds. I also want to lose 30 pounds in three months. I want to lose 30 pounds in six months. And you also want to put some 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 time stamps within that time frame maybe i'll check every every other month to see how i'm doing when you have to define your goals in such a clear and a defined way it gives you something to focus on it also gives you something to pursue in a definite way second key was to stay focused is to guard your heart distractions come oftentimes the distractions are all around you but anyone who is going to stay focused must guard his or her heart. Make sure that you, you don't introduce anything into your heart. And what I also want to encourage you in guarding your heart is to make sure that you protect your heart from not allowing anything that would derail you from accomplishing the goals you define. Making sure that once you reach your goal, when you start pursuing your goals, protect your heart. Never allow anything to discourage you. 
Never allow anything to pull you away from those goals. Proverbs 4 verse 23 says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. This verse tells you to guard your heart. Everything that you will do will start from what you have in your heart. A man stays encouraged by what he has going on in his heart. A man or woman stays motivated by what he or she has going on in his heart. You must protect your heart to avoid distractions that will try to negate that which you define that you want to accomplish. Avoid any distraction, anything that will negate or pull you away from the direction you're written down. Second key guidance, protect your heart, guard your heart. You see, success is not accidental. Also, failure is also not accidental as well. A man or woman who will succeed will do so by what they do every day. Will be intentional in guarding your heart, protecting your heart. Never allow anything or anyone pull you away from the written book. I always say this, success or failure are not accidental. No one, so no one accidentally wins, no one accidentally fails. Anytime anyone fails, watch what that person is doing every day. You can watch a man or a woman, what they do every day and tell where they're going to land. A man or woman who's going to be successful, who's going to stay focused, must protect their heart from every kind of distraction. Third key guys on how to stay focused is to stay motivated, stay inspired. You see, you will stay in you see, you will stay motivated or inspired by what you do. The converse is also true. You will get discouraged by what you do. How do you stay motivated? You must stay motivated using God's word to keep you encouraged, to keep you inspired. The psalmist said, why so downcast, O oh my soul? Put your trust in God. I will put my trust in God. You must say to yourself, often you must speak to yourself often i will not allow my heart to be discouraged i will not allow my heart to be afraid why should i be afraid when god is my source the psalmist said why so downcast on my soul put your trust in god you must stay inspired you must stay motivated using the word of god you must encourage yourself in the lord you see anytime you said clear goals of what you want to accomplish you must be inspired by what you're saying about those goals you must declare words about those goals all the time. You must remind yourself, I can do this because God is with me. I love to use Bible verses all the time. I say this to myself always. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I always say all things are working together for my good. I use the word of God to motivate me. I use the word of God to encourage me. I also use the word to add confidence so I don't get discouraged. I don't get distracted or serious. My third key guide is how to stay focused. You must stay focused by staying motivated, using the word of God. There must be Bible scriptures that you use to anchor your faith. There must be, there must be Bible verses that you use to anchor what you come to believe about those goals. You see, those goals will be able to actualize those goals by faith, by, by not just by you being vague about what you're trying to accomplish, but your, your faith is in God. And when you're staying in faith, you must also be declaring God's word to encourage yourself on a regular basis. Or key guys on how to stay focused, watch your association. Associations matter. Anytime you're going in a certain direction, you're going north, make sure you don't have anyone in your circle of influence who's going south. That will caution you to watch your association. The Bible says, how can two work together except they agree? How can you work to well, how can you work with anyone who's going in a negative direction, an opposite direction? Watch your associations. Distractions will come to try to pull you away. But make sure in your circle of influence, you don't allow all, you don't allow the realm of association to pull you away from your desired goal. First Corinthians 15, verse 33 says, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. This verse tells you not to be deceived. It is possible to be deceived. Deceived that you can spend time with the wrong company and not be affected. Your company, your relationships, they matter. Hang with the right people who are going in the same direction as you are going. You will stay focused. 
by having the right associations. And the fifth key guide on how to stay focused you must keep your eyes ever so constant on those goals. One of the things I do when I have goals, I look at the goals often. You may have it written down. Some people may use it as a vision board, whatever you may use, but have some way to revisit the goals on a regular basis. You just want to keep your eyes on the goals by looking at those goals on a regular basis. You know, I talked about writing down goals, writing them down in a very clear way, and having those goals to be measurable, having them to be time bound, but you're tracking those goals by looking at them on a regular basis. Go back to assess those goals, go back to revisit the goals, and also assess how you're doing on a regular basis. You stay of course by looking at those goals often, by checking to see how you're doing. The goal may be to lose weight, the goal may be to grow, grow your business, grow spiritually, Whatever that goal is, whatever that thing you're trying to accomplish, make sure you're looking at those floating goals on regular basis. Assess your progress, revisit your progress, make sure you're staying on target, but keep your eyes on those goals. Staying focused will not happen accidentally. Staying focused will happen by what you're doing intentionally on a regular basis. The book of Proverbs 4, verse 5 says, let your eyes look right on with fixed purpose and let your gaze be straight before you. Consider well the path of your feet and let all your ways be established and ordered aright. This verse tells you to look and set your gaze, keep your gaze right before you and consider the path of your feet. As you're looking, it gives you key things to use to consider your path. You see, everything you do as you're staying focused, you will be guided by what you're looking at and you're going to guide your, your steps every day by what you're looking at and you all, always want to make sure that you're looking at those written goals and you're staying focused on accomplishing every single one of them. Now, all I've said is that help to understand that they stay focused on the goals until all your goals are I would say thank you for tuning in with me for another awesome episode of my program. Tell me next week for another amazing episode of my program. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.